What's up guys? Welcome to your uh, 24th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be going over some things that are going to help you a ton when working with uh, 3D and After Effects. So go ahead and make a new composition or drag something into the composition panel. doesn't really matter. And go ahead and resize it so it's only a portion of your background. And this is going to help you uh, see what we're about to do. Another thing you want to do is go ahead and turn on your 3D since uh, that's what we're going to be working with. Now the first thing I want to talk to you guys is about anchor points and that's this little point right here with all the arrows sticking out of it. Now another uh, kind of name for anchor point is the pivot point. So if you see if we change the X rotation and Z rotation this might be a little more clear then we see that everything's kind of pivoting around this one point but sometimes we want to make it where we don't pivot around the center of every graphic so in order to change this anchor point what we need to do is go ahead and uh, select this little thing or you can press Y for a shortcut and this is your pan behind tool and this is pretty much the same thing as your anchor tool uh, they just gave it a new name now when you have this selected you can move this entire anchor point and what this does is give you a new um, pivot point so now if you go ahead and move this X rotation or Z rotation this will be uh, very clear you see that instead of pivoting around the middle it pivots around that one pivot point and again you can move that around so you can um, pivot around the bottom right instead of the top left and this is how you pivot around different points and again that's called the anchor point now the next thing I want to talk to you guys about now that you got your pivot set wherever you want to go ahead and uh, select your selection tool again uh, I want to talk to you guys about how to change um, kind of the view. So, and I'm not talking about the show either. I'm talking about the perception of your composition. So go ahead and go up to here. And these are your camera tools. Track X, Y, and track Z. These are two ones I'm going to be talking to you guys about today. Now go ahead and track X, Y camera tool. And go ahead and start playing around with this. And as you see, it gives the perception that your composition is moving around. But if you go down here to position, when I'm moving this around, position isn't changing. So if you're like, all right, what's going on? Well, what's happening is not actually the scale or position is changing, but your perception of where you are, your eyes, according to the thing, is changing, or the camera. So again, if uh, this might be a lot easier if you see from Z. If you grab the Z, uh, it lets you zoom in because remember the z-axis is toward me and away from me this allows you to zoom in your composition but not actually alter your composition it pretty much just give you a different position or a different perception I mean um, and just gives you different angles that you can look at your composition but not alter your composition if that makes sense so this um, these two camera tools are only if you want to view your composition in a different way again this is just view so none of these properties change only our perception of how we're looking at it so just play around with that for a little bit and trust me if you do it for like 30 seconds you'll know exactly what I'm talking about um, another thing that's going to give you some uh, different 3d views is the shortcuts f10 f11 and f12 now I can't press them because my camera or uh, my screen recorder is going to mess up but if you do, uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, um, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is sometimes when you're working with 3D, it's going to be kind of complicated um, when you're only seeing one view at a time. So what After Effects did is give you a way to view multiple views on the same um, workspace. And this is uh, how they make like uh, different 3D programs. This is what they usually do. So After Effects incorporated this as well. And to do that, to get multiple views um, all at the same time, what you need to do is go down to here and go ahead and select one of these views. Probably the most common is this four views. And this gives you four views at once. So go ahead and select your uh, selection tool or something. And as you see, when we move one of them, they all change. So these aren't four different compositions, so don't think that. This is just four different views. And this way, um, this might be a little more clear when you're using uh, the cameras and stuff like that but as you can see when you change one 
um let me grab my camera when you change one of them then the rest change with it and I just saw one point out that well again like I said these aren't four different compositions it's just four different views and this will help you a lot especially when you have pretty uh, complex 3d um, compositions and graphics and stuff like that so this will give you just uh, a bunch of different perspectives on how to work with your composition so again don't forget the anchor points how to change your anchor point or pivot point um, don't forget that you can change the camera angle that give you a better outlook or perception of what you want to view without actually changing the composition itself and again if you want to work with multiple views or go back to your main view here are your options down here to give it a more traditional 3d program kind of feel so that's that for this tutorial um, not a very exciting tutorial but these simple tools and tips will help you a lot when you're working with 3d and I'm gonna be uh, going over these later and I don't want you guys to get lost so that's why I had to tell you so thank you guys for watching um, in the next tutorial I promise I'll do something a little more exciting but for this one just thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial